6. If then spiritualism holds principles and teachings common to other religions what reason is there for a separate religious body? Has spiritualism distinctive principles of its own? Most assuredly it has. 1. Spiritualism through mediumship offers the world its only present-day demonstration of the continuity of life. Practically this is to most men a proof of immortality since it seems impossible to doubt that man will survive any other great change that may be before him, if he can survive the change called death. Spiritualism furnishes, then, the only firm and stable foundation for religion and morality. It furnishes the highest possible motives for study, development and for a truly moral and spiritual life. 2. Spiritualism is the only cult that not only affirms the fact of mediumship but stands unequivocally for its cultivation and consecrated use in the instruction and uplift of the human race. 7. What objections do opponents of mediumship urge against its practice? They say it is inimical to health, often leads to insanity and tends to immorality. 8. What answer to these charges is made by the advocates of mediumship? They point to the fact that the great majority of those possessing and practicing mediumship are healthy, happy and compare favorably in point of morality and character with any other class of good citizens. Ten of the mediums best known to the writer range in age from 75 to 98 and are excellent examples of happy and useful old age. Mediumship is generally associated with the spiritual philosophy of life which works out a mental emancipation for its followers from the narrow and pessimistic dogmas of the old theology and inculcates a most cheering optimism which certainly tends to life's enjoyment and to health and longevity. A vast multitude of mediums will testify to the fact that unyielding to spirit influence and guidance through mediumship and becoming acquainted with the cheerful and inspiring teachings of the spiritual philosophy they have found not only an improvement in health but increasing motives and aid in leading a more spiritual life. It may be affirmed therefore, and with boldness, that the whole tendency of mediumship unfolded under right conditions and consecrated to the instruction and comfort of the race, is toward health happiness and the development of a loftier character. That some mediums are immoral, some are sick, some have lost their reason, is no more than can be said of every class of public workers.